beautiful people it's your girl la la land's favorite ship shopper and you know what we're doing today ship orders to my uh welcome or welcome back should i say welcome if you're new here welcome back to all my return subscriber hey boo hey um okay guys so today first order we already got an order it is 6 35 and we're actually rushing we need to get into the store because it is a seven to eight delivery i don't think that i've done an order this early in a long time um i'll explain to you guys after we get this done we want to make sure we get it done on time so really quick it's a Vons order not a target order and surprisingly it's not delivery only it is an actual shopping order so i actually have to go inside of the Vons and shop i'm already here 15 items um, i already looked it up looks really simple so i should be able to go in here and get this busted out the customer has i think two item preferences um so i'm just gonna go in here try to bust this out and get out um at least by seven customer only live four minutes away regardless so we'll definitely make the delivery on time all righty guys so i was rushing um sorry i forgot to show you guys the bags the basket while i was inside so not a lot of items two bags this bag basically has like um the um, like bread cheese eggs that type of stuff that bag over there has like fruit and stuff and then you see the sodas see not too bad at all two bags and some sodas we are back at a party now um after we did that delivery, customer lived only four minutes away from the store. That Vons happened to be on 45th. And then the closest target is the Signal Hill target, which is on 33rd. So um, I don't have an order yet, but I came here because the intention is at the 8 o'clock hour when the next round of orders come out, hopefully we'll be able to snag one or two orders from this store. Um, so to give you, like I was saying, to give you the background story, like I always do on the first order of the day, did my normal routine, you know, we wake up at, uh, the first alarm goes off at, today I did 5.50, and then, um, another one went off at 5.55, and so we snagged this order at the 6 a.m. first round of orders for the day. Um, that's my normal procedure. I do that every weekend, every Saturday and Sunday. I always wake up in enough time to be able to see the first orders that come out at 6 a.m. Um, there were two different orders that I saw. Um, there was this order, which Devon's order, my first order, it was considered Long Beach. No, it was considered Bigsby North, I believe. Um, so there was one for Long Beach, Big, Bigsby or Bigsby North, whatever it was. And then there was a Signal Hill, this Target. That one actually was two orders. Um, I skipped over the Bigsby Knowles one and I tried to get the Signal Hill one first, but somebody claimed it already. And then the, the Bigsby Knowles one was still there. It was $13. So I hurried up and snatched it just so I could have a first order of the day. So that's how we got that order. Um, it did end up being $13, I think $13.62, even though I did have to refund one item, only one item out of the 15. So I still got all my money, which was great. So um, again, because it was so close, I technically had to pass the, the target that's on 33rd on Signal in in signal hill i had to pass it to get to the bonds i just came back here because it makes the most sense as far as conserving gas and all of that so we're just gonna sit here the store isn't even open because targets don't open until eight o'clock in california so we're just sitting here chilling waiting like i said we'll wait for the eight o'clock hour to come around and then we'll be able to snack an order update that first customer requested me to be a preferred shopper for her so must have did a good job <laughs> So before I get lost in today, because you know I can do that, I be ripping and running through these Long Beach streets, um, I wanted to get to the main point of my video today. Um, today's video, I wanted to talk to you guys um, about ways, I thought about five ways you can stay motivated as a shopper for these gig apps. Now, I know, I know if you're like me, you have your fave, like, YouTubers. Um, when you were about to, you were thinking about getting on these apps and being a shopper, you thought, okay, let me go on YouTube and watch some videos of people just to kind of see how it is. And you falling in love with people who have, you know, DoorDash, Instacart channels. There are not that many shit channels anymore, but that's why you got your girl. 
<laughs> anyways um you falling in love with your favorite youtubers because you feel like they've been the mentor as far as this gig economy or these gig apps you feel like you watch them and watch their techniques and watch what they're doing and you've incorporated or adopted or whatever um they've showed you the ropes and you grown to kind of depend on or love their entertainment and i've noticed that a lot of gig youtubers are quitting quitting youtube quitting working on the apps just quitting in general and that could be really unmotivating especially if you use them as a crutch to kind of get you through as you're doing your own gig working so i know that happened to me i'm pretty sure it's happening to you because the gig economy there are only so many popular youtubers so i'm pretty sure my faves your faves they're probably among the group of people that are quitting and i'm not about to put out no names because i'm not trying to be messy in these youtube streets all i'm trying to say is i know that could be really unmotivating i know that could be stressful because it starts to feel like the damn sky is falling like if everybody is quitting and everybody is saying it's so bad and with the gas prices and inflations and customers not tipping and scamming and all of that like I know it could be a lot I know it could be like yeah I don't even want to deal with this stress I might as well just get a nine to five or whatever and if that's what's best for you you need to do that you should never be doing these apps and doing them to the capacity where they're stressing you out so much again I'm gonna give you five ways you you can stay motivated while you're out here working these gig apps Let's go. Regardless of what app you work, whether that's Ship, DoorDash, Instacart, Uber Eats, whatever, your mama's app, whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, the first way that I would suggest, and I'm going to give you five, you can order them. I'm going to just number them off, but you can put them in a list of priority of your own. It really doesn't matter which one, what order you put them in, regardless. I think the number one that you should think about or start with is. knowing your why why are you out here working these apps what are you doing it for what is your big why like yes we all want to make money that's like the low bottom the lowest totem like the lowest level of why you're doing it what's the bigger why like what is going to be your anchoring reason regardless of all the things that you have to deal with that anchors you that keeps you motivated that keeps you going for me my big why is as i repeatedly i feel like i repeatedly say if I don't, I need to stress that I do the ship app and I work the app part time. I do have a full time, a nine to five, but I'd work the ship app on the weekends. My big why for why I'm taking time away from my husband. I have a five year old son and just my own personal rest time is me and my husband are in the process of saving to have a down payment or to have down payment money to buy a house so my big why that motivates me no matter how tired i am how stressed i am the things that i have to deal with when i'm out shopping or driving customers whatever my big why what anchors me what keeps me motivated what keeps me going is i know that i'm working to save money for a home that is the biggest goal that's the thing that above everything else everything every little bit of money that i stack is going towards that big why that ultimate goal and for me that's what keeps me motivated i think when we know why we're doing what we're doing and it's beyond something surface like just trying to make money it makes it a little bit easier or it gives you a bigger anchor of motivation than just like dollars and cents and i think that's something that you guys or us as, sh as shoppers we need to think about because there are so many things that'll make you be like this isn't worth it and to be completely honest some of those things are valid. It makes it not worth it. So you have to determine what is going to make all of this worth it. What is your why? Why are you doing this? Why does it even matter? It can't just be about money because eventually the dollars and cents won't add up and it won't make sense. Money won't be good enough. So you need to establish what your why is, why you're doing it and anchor yourself to that. That will give you some motivation. would be you need to keep things in perspective have some type of work-life balance yes whether this is full-time or part-time for you it is a job it is something that you need to commit yourself to and if you've been doing it for a while you know you can kind of slack on this it is a job it's not as easy as we all make it seem it is hard work but regardless like everything you need to create a balance 
shout out to all the people that be out here working 10, 12 hours or whatever, but I just think that's ridiculous to be hitting the paint every single day and working 10 and 12 hours. If that's what you have to do to be able to take care of your family because this is your full time and you don't have any options, then I'm not knocking you. But I'm just saying, even if that is you and you're working the 10 to 12 hours, which God bless you and God be, be safe out there, do what you got to do, make your money. You still need to create a work-life balance. You still need to factor in and you need to take off days. You still need to, while you're out, you need to eat and take a lunch break, even if it's just 30 minutes off of the app so that you can eat. You need to go to the bathroom. Like, just basic things. You need to create a work-life balance because if you're working, 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 working and doing this nonstop all the time and you're not taking breaks, you're not giving time to your family or, you know, your other priorities, you're just doing these apps, doing these apps, you will burn yourself out and you will get to to the point where you're unmotivated and you don't want to do it anymore it's like anything when you do anything in repetition repetitively over and over and over again without giving yourself any space any room it gets old it gets tired you get overwhelmed you get over it so you need to provide yourself some type of work-life balance take days off like take hours off determine okay today i'm gonna do an eight hour day tomorrow i'm gonna do six the next day i'm gonna do four like figure something out so that you can give your your, your mind your body time to rest to ramp up for the next day or next week that you're gonna work when you're just constantly hitting the pavement and you're not giving yourself any time to rest that's what's draining your motivation too because you're draining your body you're draining your spirit you're draining your energy you need to figure out in whatever capacity you can however in your situation with your time you know you need to figure out how you can create work-life balance again for me i always determine you know like i know i'm gonna work from eight to probably about three Maybe on a good day, I'll push it if my husband is like busy and out with my son or whatever, I'll push it to five, but five is the cap. You know with me, I don't, I don't, I don't work um, once the sun is going down. For my own safety and my peace, I'm not working and doing these apps and delivering to, to strangers' homes at night. I'm just not doing that. So I cap it off at a certain time, which allows me to power down, go back home, shower, still have the rest of my day and evening, and create some type of balance and rest. I still return to my family. I don't feel like, oh, every single weekend I'm just giving up my weekends and I'm never doing anything. You guys know, some days I don't even work every Saturday and Sunday because I'm doing something with my kid, doing something with my husband, my family or whatever. So you definitely have to fit in some type of balance to keep yourself motivated to keep coming out and doing these apps. Alrighty guys, it is 8.10. The next round of orders came out. Um, there were no, only seen two Long Beach orders so far and they've been party city. The eight o'clock hour was the party city hour. Um, almost all the orders that came out were for party city. They all had promo on them. You guys know I don't do party city. I'm not having it. So we got to wait till the next round of orders come out at nine, I guess, um, because we didn't get any orders. Okay. So since we have the time, since we don't have an order, let's get to number three. Number three, create the best environment in your office. <laughs> All of our cars are essentially like our offices. They are the things that we use to be able to get to the store, to complete the orders, and then get to the customer's houses to do the delivery. Your car is how you make your money. Make your car the most in, like comfortable environment. Make sure you have the things that you need that you like in your car to make your actual like shopping working days enjoyable. I'll show you some I examples. always bring some type of snack with me. As you can see, I have um, three snacks right there and I'll show you in my trunk. I have a whole bag again in my trunk. snacks in there i usually have like a case of water in here, here as well. one of my favorite little accessories that i added to my car it's a usb fan so considering the prices of gas these days and how hot it's ramping up um the summertime is upon us it's june pretty much it's summertime um I got this little handy dandy USB fan and it's not plugged up so I can't even show you guys um, how it works but essentially it gives me a way to get close contact cool air without having to use my um ac which eats up my gas which eats up my don't money. know if you guys ever noticed but I have a headrest behind me that I 
can use to comfortably rest my head while I'm waiting, while I'm driving, while I'm in here. Any little tools, any things that you can have in your car that's going to make your shopping day more enjoyable, you need to create the best environment. We spend way too much time in our car for you to not have the things that you need to be sustainable while you're out here for six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve hours. You need to have what you need in your car. The same way you would have all your supplies at a desk if you worked in an office and you were doing your nine to five, make sure you have your supplies and the things you need in your car that's going to make the shopping day and the shopping experience, the work day, enjoyable. Set some type of goals for yourself. A lot of people like to set monetary goals. So they'll say they want to make $100 a day, $200 a day. That's what I do. I have a $100 a day goal. So every day when I come out, I set a goal or that's my goal. As long as I make $100, I feel like the day is successful. Do whatever, do do something like that. Set some type of goal, fun challenges, whatever you can do to kind of spice it up, to make it fun, to make it enjoyable. After a while, after you do so many shopping experiences, this whole experience can become monotonous. You feel like you're just doing it over and over and over and over again. And there's really no differentiation between it besides maybe the difference in the customers, obviously, you're delivering to different houses. But essentially, it's the same task that you're doing over and over. So to make it fun, to keep yourself motivated, do set some goals, do challenges challenges see set a goal to see how many orders you could do in a day in x amount of hours how much money you can make on certain days and certain times of the day and just all of that like try to set up fun goals and challenges for yourself to try to give you some variety to make this fun don't just go out and shop because that becomes boring that's gonna wear on you that has no zest no fun no life so think about challenges that you can do again i only work on shit I'm a one apper. I'm not a multi apper, but I know the people that do multi apps. I see them online on YouTube. They create challenges for themselves all the time. So you should do the same. Do whatever you need to do to set it up to make it fun for you. Whether it's you set a, a time for yourself and you're going to try to complete an order in five minutes or 10 minutes and see if you can complete it. Or I don't know. I, I Do whatever you need to do to make it fun. That helps to keep you motivated. That helps to keep you want to come out and see okay can I beat my last you know my last shopping experience can I make more can you know will I make less um what, do I need to try to try to get the bonuses or you know what I mean get all the promos whatever it is but just try to spice it up for yourself make it fun you're an independent contractor you are your own boss so in being your own boss make it fun for yourself stop you know work smarter not harder you're, you don't have anybody that's over you. You don't have nobody that's checking really what you're doing. I mean, yes, cut, you know, we feel like they're watching us, you know, <laughs> through the dashboard. But I'm saying you're your own boss. Make it fun for you. Set up fun goals and challenges and see how much that'll give the whole like shopper experience a little bit of jolt or boost of life just because, you know, you have something hanging over your head other than just completing orders. Alrighty, guys, just checking in with you. Speaking of challenges, goals and challenges, your girl just set up a challenge for herself. So I definitely accepted three different orders for the 11 to 12 um, delivery hour, which I thought I was being clever and I thought that I was selecting orders that were all near each other. Yeah, no, girl. Um, first of all, the first one that I just did, which was a CVS, that one was the CVS that's off of Bellflower. I selected a Target one that said Long Beach East because the CVS said Long Beach East. I selected that one thinking that it was going to be the Bellflower Target, you know, the Long Beach East Target, my favorite one. No, yeah, child, that's for the Target that's on 7th Street, which is where I'm headed to now. And then um, I had saw a Long Beach, a CVS order, but it's like, the, the CVS that's all the way like near my house and at first I claimed it I canceled it and then they bumped it up for promo and it was still sitting there and I'm like okay at this point I'm gonna go ahead and take it a because once it becomes promo I should be good with the timing um and now that I've actually like 
calm myself down thinking like oh dear lord hi this is a challenge how am i gonna make all of them i'm already on order number two target is right up the street it's only two items i'll deliver that and then do the last one the furthest one the cvs order and so that'll be three orders um i haven't looked at the totals i'll tell you guys the total for those three orders in a minute but yeah your girl just was ripping and running setting up a challenge for herself i didn't think i was gonna be able to complete this but i think i am i'll check back in and just like that ladies and gentlemen two items got them all righty guys so we just got done with delivery number two a little irritated because the streets were closed off and where the customer lived near the water there was no parking um so i had to walk for blocks see how it's blocked off i had to walk for blocks which never makes me happy i like to be able to pull straight up to the address and not have to walk a thousand blocks um but it is what it is um it's after 11 this is my second of three 11 to 12s that i picked up but the last one is a prescription um i'm about 15 minutes away from it but I still should make it in time and deliver it by 12 like I'm supposed to. So I'm going to do that. There were no Long Beach orders that came up at 11 because I did stop to look to see if I could catch one. And there were no orders. So I guess that worked out um, because since this one took me so long to deliver it, I went over. And so... You know i guess it all works out it gives me time to get this last one and then get it delivered and that should be before 12 for sure and then it'll give me a little bit of a, a break time so no worries that actually leads me to my last and final tip about staying motivated as a gig worker you got to keep a positive attitude always your mindset is really the hardest part about all of this is not really the shopping. I mean, the shopping can be hard, don't get me wrong. But if you keep a positive mindset, that really will go a long way. All righty, guys, we are done, at least with those three orders. Um, funny thing about this delivery is I actually delivered to Miss Troutman last weekend. I don't know if you guys remember, um, you can see the building <laughs> i delivered to her last weekend um and she was the customer where i told you um almost had a panic attack because i thought i wasn't gonna be able to get into her door and then another resident came down and he let me into the building and that's how i got in to deliver to her <laughs> well today she actually i saw her um i, I used the call box i don't know why I feel like I did try the call box the last time. Maybe she didn't answer. I can't remember. But this time when I um, called her on the call box, she answered and opened up the door for me. So that worked out perfectly, actually. Okay, right now it is 1140. Um, so I would have to wait till 12 to get the next round of orders. Um, oh, to give you guys the totals. So I did those three orders for the 11 to 12 um, delivery window and my total is, so one was eight, one was like 863 and then I had a seven. So what is that? I think that's like um, eight and eight is 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, $23 and 63 cents. So that's what we got for that block of time. I think my total at 11.41, I'm already at like $81 and some change. You guys know that my goal, my daily goal is $100. So I probably only have to do maybe another one or two orders, three maybe max, um, just depending on if they're really small. But if I get any tips in a big order, I could literally be done by one, which is actually great because I needed to end earlier today anyway, because I have to go run some errands um as you guys can see your girl ain't had her nails done in a while so <laughs> i have to go get my nails done and stuff in preparation for tomorrow to celebrate my husband for father's day and i won't be working tomorrow so it'll be um just this one day um so 
the day is going great. Everything is working out the way that I had planned and hoped it would. I only have to do, again, maybe one or two orders. And God willing, if I get in any tips, then it'll really just be like one order. Um, no more than two. So just waiting. Um, I think I'm honestly just going to sit here. I'm parked underneath a tree, a shaded tree. I got shade. The wind is blowing. So I think I'm just going to sit here. That way I don't eat up my gas. Um, the closest target is the Signal Hill target on 33rd. It's probably about 9 or 10 minutes away from where I currently am, where the customer's um, apartment was. So I'm probably just going to sit here. I could start driving towards that way, but technically I'm going to see what I get. That'll probably be the Signal Hill, or sorry, that'll probably be the target that I aim for because it's the closest to get to the one that I love. Um, the Long Beach East target, I'd have to jump on the freeway and I'm kind of already close to home too. Um, so I will probably try to stay either the Signal Hill or the um, Bigsby target that we was just at the smaller one that's on 7th Street. I might um, go between those two. So we'll just see. I'll check back in when I get another order. Now, I told y'all that I was going to the Long Beach East Target, and that's where I'm headed to the next order. That's right, the Long Beach East Target, my favorite Target. Hey right, guys, um, so walking into the Signal Hill Target, this is probably going to be the last order of the day. Um, if we can snag another one while we're in here, we probably will try. Um, but this for sure will take us over our $100 goal, so we'll be good for the day. Really small order. Technically, it's a three to four delivery, but I'm definitely going to deliver it early because I'm not staying out that late. There's no reason to wait to deliver it at that time. Alrighty, guys. Checking in for the last time. It is 2.56. Your girl is done for the day. We definitely met our $100 goal. I think we made literally like $102 and some change. So as long as we make the goal, that's all that matters i am sitting outside i just pulled up to my nail shop so i'm about to run in so that i could get a little rest and relaxation remember i gave you five tips so that you could stay motivated as a gig worker on these apps remember Those are just my tips and suggestions. I know that there's a lot of people, like I said, out in these YouTube streets, out in these gig worker streets that are quitting, but that doesn't have to be you. Until next time, please like, comment, subscribe, share me with your peoples. Thank you guys so much to all my subscribers. I think we're up to now. I think I'm like at 50 or 51 subscribers. So thank you guys so much. I really appreciate all your comments, all your uh, support. Please, again, like, comment, and subscribe. Share me with your peoples. Until I see you guys next weekend, peace.